I'm in fixed assets here. Let's have a look at the process of creating an asset or bringing the asset on from project accounting. So what I'm going to do first is we'll go over to project accounting and let's create a project. So in this case, this could be, for example, an internal investment project. We're working on a building or bringing a machine into a manufacturing plant or something so we want to accumulate all the costs associated with that and then make that an asset so I'm going to create an investment project here and then we'll say okay so all I'm going to do is the basic sort of um, setup here so I'm going to create a basic activity for the project um, that I can put costs associated with it with for example. So that's kind of my my project started. You'll see that um, we're in the in process stage for example. So I'm going to put some time against it so I've got some costs. So let's just go and put in some lines and then we're going to say our activity 2 for example. I'm just going to say 200 hours and again this is just just so we can get some cost on there. So you'll see at this stage this is 200 at 15 so um, we'll have uh, some cost there. So I'm going to post the costs and we'll see it go through on the project. So let's have a look at the project control. So I can have a look at the costs and um, let's view the cost so we'll hit calculate so you'll see that we've got 3000 there in total costs on the project now let's assume that we've sort of finished the project how does that now become an asset so what we can do is go over to our estimate and we can run an estimate um, and I'm going to do this for the forecast model and I need to update the date I'm going to do this for the end of the month so that we can get any transactions up to there so um, that will give us our uh, calculations so if we have a look we'll get our 3000 uh, across here now you'll notice on the general tab where do we eliminate to so it could be to a ledger account or you'll notice that we can actually specify a fixed asset so once we specify an asset then I can um, specify the asset number here so let's go and create the shell of the asset number first so we'll go across to fixed assets and we'll create a fixed asset and we'll say that it's a building for example so there's our assets I'm just going to copy the asset number and go over to our estimation and let's put our asset number in there so again the value models are going to copy across from um, the the fixed asset group that we set up so um, that's in there at the moment so what I'm going to do is post um, and that's uh, posted so that'll allow us to finish the elimination here so if I go and eliminate um, again for this date I'm going to set the project to finish date for example so we'll say OK so at this point the asset will be taken on so if I come back to the asset here we'll see that the books are open and if I have a look at the transactions then the acquisition amount is the 3000 which is the cost from the project so that's a quick look at how you can use the project um, accumulate costs in a project and then capitalize them as an asset when you finished the project so that's a basic walkthrough obviously there's a lot of variables involved in creating and running that project and stuff but just to give you a quick orientation of how you can do that